So I told my mom, we're rushing you to hospital and you're going to be all right. Right at the door, before we took the few stairs to now get into the car, she tells me, don't even bother. I don't think I'll make it. That's the last thing my mom told me. And for sure, she didn't make it. I, I didn't want to believe that she's gone. So I just told God, man, if you really are God, just put her in a coma. At Akama, it's for the next two days. Watch her equip for ICU. But tonight, I don't have the strength to hear that she's gone because there's no way I woke up with my mom and you're telling me I'm going to go to sleep without her, you know? Not long ago, I think about an hour or so ago, she was vibrant. She looked like she was recovering. How, how is this possible? But then eventually I realized there were so many questions that I may never get, actually will never get answers for. She went with them. And I tend to believe that sometimes not getting the closure is the closure we need. And just when you think all that is too much, my biological father shows up for the first time in my life at her funeral. 